16 fighter jets from Denmark have arrived at an airbase in northern Lithuania to boost NATO's air policing mission in the Baltics against a possible Russian invasion in Ukraine. The Russian military has released new footage of exercises some 50 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. In recent weeks, Russia has amassed more than 100,000 troops in areas close to the border. Today, Russia has sent its strongest signal so far that it's willing to engage with U.S. security proposals and reiterated that it does not want war over Ukraine. Speaking to Russian radio stations, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said if it depends on the Russian Federation, there will be no war. He said they don't want war, but they will not allow their interests to be violated or ignored. He also said the Ukrainian president has been used by the U.S. to heat up tensions. In a phone call with the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, U.S. President Joe Biden warned there's a distinct possibility Russia might invade Ukraine next month. However, it's been reported that the pair disagreed over the timeline. French President Emmanuel Macron is speaking by phone with Russian President Vladimir Putin today. The French foreign minister said it's up to President Putin to say if he wants consultations or confrontation and asked whether the Russian leader wanted to be a destabilizing power or would seek de-escalation. President Putin is set to discuss security in Europe and Moscow's demands of the West with the Chinese president when he attends the opening ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics next week. Meanwhile, the U.S. ambassador to Moscow said the U.S. is now waiting for Russia's response to written documents by the United States and NATO. He also said economic sanctions and other measures, including export controls and the prevention of the Nord Stream 2 natural gas pipeline from Russia to Germany from operating would be imposed if Russia invaded Ukraine. Gail Conway, RTE News.